Hello friends, this is Marsupial Gamer, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Nox Arceus, a brand new retro RPG video game for the uh, Apple II. So I already did this <laughs> once, and unfortunately uh, the video got screwed up somehow, so this is take two. Uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I've already taken off the... Uh, the, the uh, shrink wrap and everything, but uh, I put everything back in, so we're going to try this again, and I think this is going to work out. Uh, video looks good to me now, so this is a, a new game by uh, 6502 Workshop, and uh, it actually is a, a game for the Apple II computer, and you can obviously play it on, on Windows using an emulator, but it also comes with the uh, five and a quarter inch floppy disks. So that if you have an Apple II, or you can get one, which would be really cool if I could get one eventually. I used to have one when I was a kid. Uh, you can actually play it on an Apple II computer. So, we're going to be uh, unboxing this. I'm going to take my time. And first off, I just want to look at the back. And there's a, there's a whole big write-up here that I want to read off for you. It says it's an 8-bit computer role-playing game. Nox Archaist. You crawl ashore, spluttering out seawater, still clutching your sword. You are so close to discovering the secret of the magical barrier that threatens your homeland. Now, shipwrecked and with your companions dead, how can you hope to accomplish your mission? Raising your head, you see a figure approach, holding an oaken staff. With a cry, you struggle to free your sword from the seaweed. As you look up, you see that the figure is simply standing there, holding out their hand. Taking the hand, you realize that even though you swore to defend the realm from shadow and darkness, perhaps you don't have to do it alone. So this was a this was a crowdfunded game that I got in, managed to get in the crowdfund a couple of years ago. Uh, it was just finished uh, early last year, and they were just doing the uh, masters on on the uh, floppy disks, and I and you could actually choose uh, to get it with or without uh, the full floppy disk and I just I waited because I wanted to get the real thing here uh, I've already downloaded it so I, I am going to be playing it um, eventually on stream but uh, I also just got this box here in the mail uh, last weekend so unfortunately like I said I, I already did <laughs> a, a trial run I guess you could say of the unboxing so I've already broken the seal on this little letter that come that came with it as you can see, it can, comes with a, uh, a real, uh, little focus on that, um, a, uh, a wax seal on this letter. So we're going to open that up. So here, I'm going to try and get this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it comes with this letter that I'm going to read for you. A, a writ of authority. Focus, focus. There we go. This writ proclaims that the bearer is a member in good standing of the realm of valley and is authorized to travel the lands, enter all towns and castles within Her Majesty's domain, and engage in all lawful commerce. Furthermore, the bearer is hereby declared as a defender of the crown, authorized to bear weapons and armor, and acting in good faith according to the Queen's wishes, defend the realm from all manner of beast and bandit who would harass and harm her people. The bearer must present this writ at all towns and castles, and to any of Her Majesty's officers and lords who might request it. In times of peril, the bearer may be summoned to appear at the court of Her Majesty to render assistance, and must make all effort to appear within one span of days. Signed under the authority of Her Majesty, Markov Lamert, Lord High Marshal. There we go, and it has a little seal right there as well. So, for any of you who... Uh, been around as long as I have, you know that games like this would often come with uh, what they call feelies, little uh, pack-ins that come in the box, and so they, you know, to be uh, real true to sort of the retro aesthetic here, they included a little coin, and this is actually quite substantial, it's actually kind of heavy, it's a lovely, beautiful coin that says ISA on the front, I don't know what that stands for. It also says Helm's Reach, Dragon's Mere, Windmar. Let's see if I can zoom in on that, see if it'll uh, focus, hopefully. 
Hello. No, it's not. There we go. Beautiful. And on the other side, it says Valley. It has that little symbol on there. So yeah, that's a that's a nice little coin that came with it. Also comes with this crystal. I don't know what the significance of that is, although it is featured on the uh, on the instruction manual. You'll see that in a moment. So that's kind of you know nice little glass crystal that came with it. And then here is the beautiful, beautiful, I'm going to move this to the side for a second so you can see this. This is fantastic. So this game is done sort of uh, as a spiritual successor or sort of in the, in the manner of the old uh, Ultima games. And the first Ultima game I ever played was Ultima 5 and I was, had the full version in the box and came with a cloth map just like this. This is the Nox Archaist cloth map of the world. It says Isles of Windmar right there. And we're just going to, can't really see the whole thing at once here, but I'm eventually going to probably put this up on my, on my wall. It has a beautiful uh, compass there in the corner. And there's a, you know, the major isle right there. Looks like some smaller islands near the top. This is the world of Nox Archaeus, Valley, apparently. Volley? Perhaps it's Volley. Yeah, it came with this beautiful cloth map. I'm going to fold that up nicely. I love that. So let's see what else we got here. It came with a uh, sticker. Nox Archaeus, choose your hero. Very nice. To find a place for that. And, I'll show that in a second. It came with this... Uh, Postcard from the Isles of Windmar. And the postcard says, Greetings! How is the weather there? The weather here has been stormier than I have ever seen. Poor old Cobb and his cow were struck by lightning the other day. Seemed most unnatural. Speaking of unnatural, let me turn this so you can see it a bit better. Have you found out anything more about the cultists? In your last letter, you said something about taking a sea voyage to investigate a dark void reported by merchant ships. I hope and trust that your ship will have smooth sailing. If you ever find yourself in Everton, give my regards to Irene. As always, I remain your friend. In the ink smudged. It says, Blasted Pen. <laughs> Again, it has that uh, mark right there. There we go. Nice little postcard. Now, what was on this was actually a USB thumb drive. Has a little thing in the shape of a of the disk drive, and this is actually the game is on here, so you can actually put this. You know, it comes with the game and a Apple II emulator, so you can play it on Windows and I believe on Mac as well. So the game's on there, and then here, if I can get this out of there, is the instruction manual, and look how thick that is. <laughs> That's quite amazing. It's got a quick reference on the back. Beautiful. It's it's so nice and smooth. It's very high quality. It's beautiful. And see, there's the guy with the crystal. I don't don't know who this is. I don't know what the significance of that is. It's got like a fire whip there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this from cover to cover right now on camera. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to read this though. What is once old is new again, uh, probably before I play, at least a significant portion of it, at least to get the lore of the world. See, old games, <laughs> games back in the 80s, really required you to read the manual. In fact, there's a uh, one of the Ultima games, I don't remember if it was 4 or 5, in the game it says, really, read the manual. <laughs> And uh, you really do have to read it because it's they're they're a little bit they can be a bit uh, opaque. Some of these games, you know, they've, like you said, there's a quick reference with all of the all of the little you know keyboard shortcuts and everything. But these aren't the type of game where you just pick up and play. You really have to know, know what you're doing, understand the world. There's the bestiary, and uh, gets into all the different types of armor and weapons. And there's spells, and it explains how the spells work. And it can get a bit complicated, but that's part of the fun, is to uh, read the manual and, and really understand 
the game that you're about to play. And you usually have that with you, especially the quick reference. That's really helpful to have that quick reference you know, nearby when you're playing the game. And then finally, the best part of all, the actual real life five and a quarter inch floppy disks that if I ever get an Apple II, maybe I will someday, these will actually work. There's the boot disk, overworld, save game, underworld, town and castle disk, keep and ruin. So as you play the game, you have to swap these in and out. <laughs> I guess that could be part of the fun. And usually they're double-sided. So yeah, this is side one, side two. So imagine as you're playing it, you start out with the boot disc, but like when you go into the overworld, you have to have side one on there. If you go into the underworld, you have to flip it around in the disc drive. And if you go into a town, you have to put in this disc. And it'll pause the game and tell you which disc to put in as, you, as you're playing. It's part of the charm. So this is beautiful. And, the, and these are brand new. If you've never seen five and a quarter inch floppy disk that, that's what they look like computer reads off there it's got a disk on the inside that spins around and uh, yeah double-sided and everything beautiful beautiful 6502 workshop you guys did an amazing amazing job I'm so happy with this and I've already played a little bit of it on on my PC but really didn't know what I was doing because I was waiting for the uh, instruction manual Interestingly, here's something people may remember if, if you have ever used these. This is actually the copy protection notch right here. And in fact, um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe that when it has that notch, it can't be overwritten. And it should have a notch on the other side for the, for the back, but I don't. I don't know. Now I remember I had the, there's a tool that you could use to clip that notch. If you you know if you wrote to a disc but you didn't want to you wanted to make it read only, you had to you know cut out this notch in the side and then the computer wouldn't overwrite it. And then there were also stickers that you could get that you just cover that up, and that would make it rewritable again. <laughs> and then so that's kind of an interesting feature I just noticed as the little notch on the side. I do suspect though that the opposite side is going to be rewritable. If I if you don't cut the notch out on that side, they might have forgotten about that. Interestingly. Maybe no maybe some people don't know about that. <laughs> so there we go. Nox Archaist. I will be playing this on stream eventually. Right now I'm still working on Final Fantasy. Maybe I'll take a break from my Final Fantasy Odyssey at some point. And play a bit of this. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. Comes with all of this wonderful stuff. There's the map. It's very, very. It's immersive from the moment you you open the box, really. So there it is, my unboxing of Nox Archaeus. It is still for sale, actually. Uh, if you check out Six Five Zero Two Workshop on Twitter. Um, they have their website, and you can actually order this game if you wish. And you can I think as soon as you order it, you can probably download um, download the game right away. But they'll send you the box, and, uh, and I believe they also have a Discord that you'll you'll have to look up. But uh, yeah, there's uh, hopefully it'll be really cool if they come out with sequels and everything. But there we go. That's the unboxing of Nox Archaist. I am Marsupial Gamer, as you can see. In the corner, if I cover up, maybe it'll be easier to read if I put my hand there. Um, or if I take it away. Uh, hopefully you're already watching this on YouTube. Uh, but I also have a Twitch channel that I stream games on. Twitch.tv slash marsupial underscore gamer. But thanks for watching. Uh, this has been an unboxing of Nox Arcaist. Have a great day. Bye.